Hey, what's up, guys? It's Explicit Baron here with my thoughts on the 500th episode of The Simpsons, the great animated show that's been around since 1989. That is 23 years this show has been on, and it's still pretty decent, but definitely has gone downhill. So I just wanted to talk about the 500th episode that premiered last Sunday, which I missed because I'm not as big a fan as I used to be. I used to watch it every single Sunday. When it premiered, always. Never miss an episode. I've seen, I think, every single episode except maybe one or two of the last season that I just... I'll watch them when I buy the DVDs. So, the 500th episode of The Simpsons. Overall, it was okay. For a land st landmark of an achievement as 500 episodes, I expected much more, but it's, it's still decent. So the episode, the plot around the episode revolves around um, the Simpsons get banned from Springfield because of all their shenanigans and incidents and destruction they've, uh, they've caused over the last 499 episodes or 23 years in Springfield. And um, I didn't expect this for an episode. Uh, I thought they'd do kind of like a clip show or something, sitting around a couch and you know, referencing referencing old episodes and old stuff they did, which kind of would have been a, cre a cheesy episode, which not much new animation, but I kind of wanted that overall, this episode where they tried creating just another episode, even though it was the 500th episode. Um, it started off pretty cool. Just as soon as the episode started, it said the 500th episode, the most meaningless milestone of all, and I just thought that was pretty funny that the creators don't even care anymore they just they just they won't I think they might be just doing the show for a paycheck and because they still love the show but it's definitely like they don't care that much anymore and so they start the the couch gag and everything and what was cool about this episode they started off by showing a frame of every single couch gag of the last 499 episodes so it's pretty cool to sit there for 60 seconds just seeing a frame of every single episode's couch gag it was pretty cool to see how far the show has come even though you can only see it for a split second each couch gag and it was cool cool way to start the episode the episode overall uh the plot was you know they the simpsons get kicked out of springfield they start uh, a new life out in the middle of nowhere away from society almost kind of like hillbillies and it was it had it had its moments it was funny at times it, there were a few references to older episodes um one in particular where homer references to how when he him and marge arrived at their home in springfield he talked in a much lower tone and if you watched like the early simpsons episodes from like season 1 he had a very low pitched voice and kind of a pissed off voice compared to his now comedic high-pitched voice so it's it just references how far they've come and it, it was it was kind of cool to see a few references here and there of that not as much as I wanted or expected but it was still decent they had a few they had one or two jokes that were really adult oriented which surprised me like they were one of them was really laugh out loud that I didn't expect and there were a few chuckles here and there they showed a decent number of some of the old um, characters that you don't see much on the episodes on like Sideshow Bob was shown in it. Um, Duff Man was in it, a small little clip of him. And it was weird, this episode actually had some pop culture in it. They referenced WikiLeaks and they actually had Julian Assange, the founder of the website, voice his character in in the show which was odd for the 500th episode they'd go so pop culture but it, it was it was odd but it, was, it was still funny um so the episode itself was okay i kind of like what they did at the end it, it was funny as soon as the episode ended there was a title screen in old you know like 1920s lettering that said Thanks for 500 shows. All we ask is you go out and get some fresh air before logging on the internet and saying how much this sucked. Which I gotta give them props for that. I love the the Simpsons and their creators about that. I'm not gonna say the episode sucked. I'm not gonna say it was fantastic. It was just the Simpsons as they've been for the past five to ten years. Prior to that, the first ten years was amazing. Some of the best 
TV I've watched in my entire life, and I've referenced them my entire life. I was the Simpsons kid in high school and middle school. That's how much I loved the Simpsons. I would always reference them. And I'm glad I, I still watch the episode. It kind of makes me sad that it's not as good as it used to be, not even close. But I'm just going to start buying the old DVDs and watching all the, the seasons all over again because they're that good. So, guys, uh, leave comments. Tell me what you think of the 500th episode, what you thought of the the whole Simpsons franchise and what they've done for pop culture worldwide. They're massive. They've got video games, TVs, toys. They've become, you know, just an integral part of society. I know if I hadn't watched The Simpsons, I would not be the person I am today. So the 500th episode was okay, but The Simpsons overall is one of the most important things in history, in my opinion. So uh, tell me what you guys think about it. Thanks for listening, and check out my blog below and my Twitter. Thanks for listening, guys. Explicit Baron out.